Esposito. It's Thursday morning at about 10 minutes until 4 o'clock in the morning. Headed over to Sean's to pick up Sean and Tim. We're headed to the Adirondacks again. Five Pond Wilderness is the destination today. Be there about noon. We're going to spend four days in the wilderness doing some bushwhacking, some exploring, and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get in. Let's hear it, Roy. All right, we found the trailhead. We're now packed up. And we're gonna two-trip it to somewhere along this trail and then see if we can sneak down to the outflow of Sand Lake. We were hoping we could paddle the Oswegatchi, the middle Oswegatchi, which is here, down there, but it's a little bit, a little bit bony. So we decided not to. We're gonna walk around it and hope for the best when we get close to the outflow here and probably about a mile away. Got about a mile hike, do some investigating. Hopefully we find a spot where we can sneak down into that outflow and then paddle the rest of the way and avoid a two and a half mile portage. Oh yeah. He gone. <clears throat> this is a wet muddy slog. Getting into uh on the trail oops I went in. Walking on the trail to uh Sand Lake. And I just wandered through the woods. A little bit of an old logging trail or something I guess. Not much of a road, but definitely collects the water. All right, doing a little exploring, uh, bushwhacking down to the outflow off the trail. It looks like it's only about a couple hundred yards off the trail. I think I'm almost down to it, hoping that we can get a canoe down here and float the rest of the way. It's kind of a rough walk, but uh, you can see it down here coming up. Sounds like it's moving pretty good. We are hoping it'd be kind of mellow let's go take a look looks moosey that's for sure huh got some rapids up there Smooth for sections for sure. Boy, it is pretty down here. I think we're gonna have to keep going upstream. See what we find. Cheers, we are in the wilderness. We're deep into it right now. We just dropped our packs off. Uh, found out that we can't float up the outflow. So we are going to go back and get the canoes and hike to here and leapfrog it up to... Carefree Highway. Carefree Highway on Sand Lake. <laughs> Back to the truck to grab the boats and uh, 
raining now. It's supposed to rain, it's supposed to stop at noon, but it's now close to two o'clock. We're gonna carry the boats through the woods here and uh, catch up to where our packs are and hopefully find a place to float into Sand Lake. Something a little different. Walking through the woods. Go ahead. With canoes. Just about float them on the trail probably. Cause it's muddy. Trying to find our way through the woods. We're bushwhacking down to Sand Lake Outlet. The rain that was supposed to quit at noon is following us apparently. But we, we will survive. Yes, we. Survive. We're halfway home, getting some lunch. Roy's got the uh, buffalo chicken, with the cheese stick on it, a couple of beers. Still kind of a muddy trail. We're getting there. Starting to drizzle a little bit. We're on our second quest to try to find a shortcut to the Sand Lake outflow so we don't have to carry all our stuff another mile. So we're hoping it's up here somewhere. <clears throat> All right, we found the bushwhack down to a place we can actually paddle. So we are headed in that direction with the canoes, which will be followed by the packs, and we'll hopefully have a decent clear paddle into Sand Lake. Little uh, damage from the trip down through the woods. I'd call that a little bit of a hole. Hopefully, we can get some repairs done and uh, get on out on that water. Natural. Right. Little boat repair. Little. Ported problem. You like that? That's yeah. oh. so different. So much different. <clears throat> and just like that, we are on the water. Now we finally got on the river, and now we've got these rapids to contend with, and I don't think we're paddling upstream on those, so I've got to find a portage to get around. But uh, Tim's going to spend some time here and catch us dinner. I think we're getting a canoe through here. We're going to have to find a different way. It is thick. 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 Interesting place, but this is the lake. We got to get around all those rapids and get to here. We probably should have stuck to the trail. A little better next time.
All right, we made it somewhere. Uh, probably cut off the trail too soon. There's Roy's stuff, waiting for his canoe to show up. Sean's stuff is over there. There's the rapids we had to portage around. It is thick. Pretty fun though. This is an adventure. We just bushwhacked through thick, thick woods to get to this spot. And we may not be done yet. Here comes Roy popping out. That wasn't easy. I heard a big scrape. I hope he didn't have a rip like I do. Wow. Here's my rip there. It's holding up for now. Nice repair job, but I got a glass bottom boat. Paddling in the sand lake. Got an osprey off to the left. Loon just flew right over. Ducks and geese. Right over that esker there is Rock Lake. One hell of a place. Thursday night, about six o'clock or so, we have made it to Sand Lake. And what a peaceful spot. Hey God, what's going on, on the other side? Sweet. Hmm. Definitely a better place for a beaver to get in and out than a human being. He, I think you said this side's prettier, so. What's that? <laughs> Can't <fix landing> boots. <laughs> Landed on the beach. What is it? Not flawless. Not flawless. <laughs> There's a moat. They're not going to let us make this easy at all today, are they? 
Look at this place, in the middle of nowhere. It's even painted. Got a picnic table. Got a kitchen table. That's a hell of a lean-to. Tim just got done rubbing two sticks together, and this is where we're at now. Roy's making up some dinner. What do you got here, Roy? We got jambalaya. Jambalaya. Some smoked Cajun sausage. Sausage. We got some salmon here for uh, appetizer. Got a camp old fashioned. We got everything going. We got an appetizer swimming out in the lake. We got an appetizer <laughs> on the lake. I don't know if he's going to make it to the party. Here's our lean to with the fire going. It is a beautiful night in Sand Lake. We got there, Roy. Speckled trout. It's a story. Native. Right off the brook, sand, sand lake outlet. Took a fly on the surface <laughs> down below the rapids. Pretty as can be. It's beauty. Saved him for an appetizer. Let's eat. That's what I'm saying. Speckled trout appetizers. That's real. Got some jambalaya. We got some speckled trout. Native, we are eating right. The pieces of my sweet shattered dream. That's what, so I'm right. Okay, so I'm right. That's, that's lost, lost love, right? My sweet shattered dream. I wonder how the old folks are tonight. That just doesn't fit. So I changed that to I wonder how the poor folks are tonight. So that's what we see anyways. Damn camping. right. Her name was Ann and I'll be damned if I recall her face. She left me not knowing what to do. Country Highway, let me slip away on you. Blah, blah, blah. Turning back the pages to the times I love best. I wonder if, if she'll ever do the same. Now the thing that I call living is just being satisfied with knowing I got no one left to blame. See, I like that verse. That one actually fits, makes sense. Now this is good. So this is a twist on the chorus. Carefree Highway. I got to see you hold my, my old flame. Carefree Highway. You've seen better days. Verse 3. This is the this is the interesting part. I think. Searching through the fragments of my dream shattered sleep. That's kind of cool. Huh? The twist on the first one. I wonder if the years have closed her mind. I guess it must be wonderlust. Or trying to get free. From the good old faithful feeling we once knew. Your eyes have the mist from the smoke of a distant fire. Good morning from Sand Lake. Having breakfast, got some oatmeal cooked up. A 
got some coffee. Ready to enjoy the day. Saturday morning, it's about 8.30 and we are going to portage our canoes over to Wolf Pond and see what that is like. Hopefully catch some speckled trout there and then we are going to just hike over to Five Ponds, see what those look like. Maybe fish from the shore. And then eventually get back and bring our canoes back here to Sand Lake. Spend another night here. It's beautiful. What is going on here? Hey, what? <laughs> All right, traipsing through the woods now, trying to find a shortcut down to Wolf Pond. Otherwise, it's another mile carry. Uh, I'm seeing water down here, and it doesn't look too swampy, so that's a good sign. <clears throat> Question is, can we get our boats down here? And yeah, maybe on the other side of this. I think we may have made it. Our first look at Wolf Pond. One gets prettier than the next. And just like that, we are paddling and fishing on Wolf Pond. And what you're seeing there is three individual beaver lodges, one bigger than the next. Actually, there's a fourth one behind. It's a little bit smaller. But beavers like this pond. A beaver over here working. He hasn't seen me yet. Looks like he comes up and then goes back down. And probably eating off the bottom, maybe. Just going back and forth. I think he just saw me. Didn't splash though. I need a splash. This is the outlet of Wolf Pond and this is the beaver's handiwork. They got probably a hundred yard or so beaver dam all the way across. That's big swampy area back there. I think that heads over to five ponds. Thought about paddling that, maybe we will someday. Kind of glad I'm not having to go over that or back up it today. But it does look like it's definitely paddleable downstream from here. We are on the trail from Wolf Pond to Little Shallow. Super pretty. Take a look at Little Shallow Lake. I 
That's Little Shallow, and this is Little Shallow Lean 2. Just stopped for lunch. Nice spot to have a lunch. Uh, not used very often. We were the first ones here in the last six months that signed the logbook, so. If you want a spot to be alone, this is it. Coming up to the big shallow lean to. This has one of the prettiest views of a lean to that I have found yet. Take a look at that. The whole floor of the lake is covered in cobblestone. So there's the Esker, probably is a little steeper than it looks. But we're headed up there, we're going to bushwhack all the way back to Wolf Pond is the plan. Check you out when I can't breathe anymore. Hey, man, fishing rod. We are bushwhacking along the Esker between Big Five right now and Little Shallow. Over there you can see Big Five through the trees. And we're on the other side so you can't see Big Shallow here. But pretty cool. We're right up on top of the ridge. And you can see all these blowdowns from 1995. All these trees got hammered and knocked over. A nice view of uh, Big Five here. What the? So we're still walking along the Esker between Little Shallow and Big Shallow, and this end of it had that 1995 blowdown, and it looks like this one broke off that high 30 years ago. There's one behind it that's even taller. Yeah, there's one that's even taller all the way to the top. Wow. On the side of the Esker between, what are between? Little Shallow and Big Five. And still all these blowdowns. And this is the beginning of Big Five. This is where Wolf Pond Outlet comes into Big Five. Part of the Five Ponds Traverse yet unestablished. You can see the outlet to Wolf Pond down there. We just came to the very end of the Esker, walked the entire length. So we're going to head down there and have a scotch. Came off the Esker, finished it, and ran into the Wolf Pond Outlet, where Roy's going to catch our dinner. Walking back to Wolf Pond. We'll hit Wolf Pond and then paddle across and head back for Sand Lake Clean to for tonight. Turning into a gorgeous day. The rain stopped. The sun is out. Very nice. Alright, we are coming up to the Wolf Pond lean to it is way up on the hill which is nice i suppose if you don't have to walk down the hill but uh there's wolf pond and it's quite a ways away and 
straight downhill. And you can kind of see all these blowdowns. That would have been a heck of a night in, uh, I think, 1995. All these trees came down at the same time. So that would have been something to hear, to see, yeah. and listen to. <laughs> Wrapping up today's paddle. At the end of Wolf Pond. Next is the portage back to Sand Lake and some dinner. Bushwhacking up the trail and then headed to Sand Lake. All right, we found the trail and now we are headed back. Just like that, we're back at camp in Sand Lake. Drop the boat off and uh, try to have a party. We are sitting on the sandy beach of Sand Lake. Enjoying an old fashioned, watching the sunset. You're on. We have to have a lead into the song nope. and just the just the one line. I wonder how the poor folks are tonight. Things we call living, just being satisfied. When there's no one else left to blame. Camp sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I carried him a lot of stuff. <laughs> Shall not call it the tomb. Beautiful morning. It's Saturday morning. It's actually getting pretty warm out. Everybody's in t-shirts. And uh, had an eventful morning already. Had a bagel sandwich with with Canadian bacon, eggs on it. And we saw an osprey dive in, grab a fish, loons singing this morning, grouse drumming this morning, ducks flying around the pond. And then we saw what we think is a deer on the far, far side of the lake. We're going to go check that out right about where my canoe's pointing right now. And we're going to maybe climb a mountain, that one over there. It's called Sitz Mountain. I'm going to go see what that's all about. And there's a Sitz Pond right behind it. Go check those things out. And we're going to kind of fish our way across, take our time, and have lunch on the other side.
more damage from the portage yesterday. Must have ripped it. Didn't notice it, but uh, gonna have to fix that up. Had about an inch of water over my floorboards just now, so make a quick repair. I'm paddling up the outlet of Sitz Pond, nice and slow, and spooked a beaver right as I got into the creek, and now he's kind of chasing me and flapping his tail, hoping I can catch him. But he was the last splash he was actually probably two feet away from the boat and got me wet from I was that close to a splash so um, I don't know if he's chasing me or if I just keep surprising him as I go around the bend or if they're different ones ah, I'm off the snide not sure what that is but uh, got a fish what the hell Round two. We were paddling up the outlet to Sitz Creek. Uh, finally ran out of room to paddle, so we're probably gonna get out here and have some lunch and go overland. What do you got? Got a speckled trout. Sweet. We got dinner. Bet you could go for a cool one. <laughs> Clark. <laughs> Check it out. That's purdy. Speckled trout. Speckled trout. We just paddled up the outlet of Sitz Pond as far as we could go. And now we are bushwhacking up to Sitz Mountain. Right, about a mile or two. Pretty woods. The creek is really pretty. Kind of following it right now and then we'll break off of it here in a little bit. All right, that's no doubt about it. We weren't sure if it was moose or deer before, but those are some, those are some marbles. You got foot, footprints leading from here. We're in the middle of the woods doing some moose hunting. Little swamp we found way back up in the woods. Beaver dam over there. Looks like it's older. I'm even broken through a little bit. Huge marshy area. Got a waterfall. Beautiful creek. The kind of stuff. Push back on find you, I guess. Wow.
another mountain beaver pond. Almost to the peak of Sitz Mountain. Got a little fat man squeeze coming up it looks like. we're going to call this the summit of Sitz Mountain. Huzzah! Coming off of Sitz Mountain, we're headed towards Sitz Ponds and that's our first glimpse of it. Collecting fiddleheads on the way to have with our steak dinner. Beautiful spot. You're supposed to make it look harder, Tim. Sits Lake. The loon out there, this is the place to be. This is the outlet of Sitz Creek, or I'm sorry, this is the outlet of Sitz Pond. Heading back from somewhere, Sitz Lake. <clears throat> Paddling back out towards Sand Lake.
What's up, Chuck? Rolling down the river. Back on Sand Lake, doing a little fishing, and then we are going to have some steak for dinner. This is what we climbed today, Sitz Mountain, and then the lake was just off to the left. Really nice hike. Up the video. Check out that. What's gonna be our appetizer for tonight? Hmm. Speckled trout on the menu.
Open up our speckled trout. Getting our steaks ready. Yeah. Got our fiddlehead salad. We got potatoes roasting by the open fire. We got our trout appetizer that's almost ready. Just like downtown. Mm. Got some fresh fiddleheads. This is Levin. We got a steak dinner with sweet potatoes by candlelight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got some wine to go with it. Red wine, steaks. It is Saturday night. Good night, moon. Sunday morning, beautiful morning, gonna bug out today, we're just gonna enjoy the scenery for a minute. And the setting moon. Camp, we got about four or five hours to get back to the truck with all of our gear. We got about a mile paddle and then a two or three mile, two and a half mile portage. Heading home. Well, somewhere around here is supposed to be a trail back, the two and a half mile walk, and um, we're trying to avoid that shortcut because it was a bear last time, but we can't find a trail, so probably not used very much. We're going to go with the devil we know and try lining through those rapids, I guess. Get chilly.
Did it. <laughs> and they're Dacron boats. Next beaver dam. All right, we uh, are off the river now, found a bushwhack up to the trail. Fairly clear. We brought our packs up and uh, got lucky here. Head back up to the trail and we got, then we got about a mile back to the trail. 